Hey, you guys. Um, this is the how to make a slingshot thong. This is the thong. I kind of already cut it out. And then this right here is the part that I'm going to use to trim it. This is just a straight long piece that's no wider than three inches. And this is how we're going to put it together. So the shiny part of the thong, we're going to sit right here. This is the trim. The shiny part is on the outside. You're going to fold it halfway in. You see it? Halfway in. We're going to sit the thong on the fold of the trim. Can you see it? And then we're going to fold it over again. So I'm going to do it again so you can see it. We're going to fold the trim in half. We're going to sit the thong on the fold of the trim. And we're going to flip it over to where it gives it a smooth edge. And then we're going to put it under the machine. Not at the top of the machine. If you can see right here, leave connecting room. You need connecting room to connect it. So do not start at the top of your thing. And so then what we're gonna do is, we're gonna tuck, pull, only on the trim, hold, stitch. So once again, it's tuck, pull, hold, stitch. Tuck, pull, hold, stitch. Tuck, pull, hold, stitch. Now, the reason why we're going out right here is because this is the part of the thong that goes in between your crotch. So you want to give it some room instead of it not having no room. Make sure you cut your strings each time. That way you don't have no strings. And then you add this, you add right here. You, you put this on the fold right here. You see how I fold it? And then we put it under. So this is the bottom part of our thong. We're just coming up, trimming on the other side. The same method, tuck, pull, hold, stick. Tuck, pull, hold, stick. Tuck. Pull, hold, stitch. And we're gonna go out a little. So we give it connecting room right here as well. And then you cut your strings. You see it, you cut your strings, cut off all your strings. And then we get ready to go over the top part right here. Same thing, you, um, you fold your, your trim, you fold this part back. You're gonna have this part if you don't cut it off yet. So you fold it backwards. You sit it directly on the fold, you fold it back over. We're almost done, y'all. Same method. Tuck. Pull, hold, stitch. Tuck, pull. When I pull, I'm only pulling on the trim, not the, not the fabric. Do not pull on the fabric, only pull on the trim. Okay, so now, now we're done doing the first part around it. So look, let me show you real fast how to do it. You see the back? The back has a lot of extra stuff. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it off against it. Meaning we're seeing it as we cut it. We're not gonna do it the opposite way to where it's blinded. And then we can cut a hole in our outfit. 
Well, we can cut a hole in the thong. So look, let me show you. So this is how you get rid of all the extra stuff in the inside. So it's basically like this all the way around. Okay, and then look, let me show you. You see right here, y'all might experience this. This means you only went over it one time. So you wanna go over it to flatten it. So look, you just go over it one more time. Up. Now you guys see it? You see how flat it is? So then you take each side, you fold it over. And then this is the only time you use a straight stitch. Can you see it right here? So I'm going to go straight across. Look. And I'm reversing it and going back over it a few times to where I can make sure it stays. And once I do that, then I cut off the remaining. Cut off your strings. You do the same on the opposite side. Mm -mm -mm. And now once we do the back part, then all we gotta do is throw the string in it and we are done. I'm doing the same thing. I'm just going over it back and forth. So I went back and forth over it. Now we do the bottom and then we just got to string it and it's done. So I'm cutting off all your strings. Make sure you cut off all your strings. Mm -mm -mm. So here's the bottom part. You do it the same way. Cut off all the extra after you lock it. Okay, now let me give you a string. Here's what it looks like. So you can see it before I put it on to a mannequin. This is what you could you call a half mannequin right here. So you sit it right here. Let me get a piece of string. I'm using a skinny, 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 skinny piece of string right here. Mm -mm -mm. Just tangle. One second, one second. Try not to have a super long bit at all. Hopefully you're stringing like mine. 
So what you do, you do get a long piece of string, a really, really long piece of string. The reason why you want a long piece of string is because you'd rather have enough string than not enough string. And you never know who's putting it on. So y'all yeah, see the, the size that I got? It is like probably really long, I don't know. So what you do, you turn the thong around and you lace it on the back. This is the bottom part to your crotch. You even it. You even it. And then you go from one side, from right, from the back way of it, you go from the back. Push the string through, if it come through. Okay, one second, one second. Mm -hmm. What in the world? Anyway, I'm going from this one. So you pull the string through. You pull it through again, through the bottom part. Again. And we're gonna try this again on this side. Cause it was tripping. Sometimes if your fold got like two, two folds on it, you gotta make sure it goes through. There you, go. there you go. Okay, so now that I got it through here, I connect it to the second string that I brought from the other side. Then I put both of them together like this. And I just make a little knot. At the corner, make a knot, and then pull it. So once you pull it, you put it on to the mannequin or whatever you're trying to do. So wait a minute, let me show you. So once you put it on, you see it? You see how it will go? So now what you have to do is you have to crisscross it like this. in order to give you the slingshot look. So it will look like this, so I'm gonna do it again. Once you string it, once you string it, it'll look like this. It'll just be regular, like this, right? So you see how it's just regular like this? So what you can do, you can hold it right here and you can bring it behind you. Look, when you hold it like this, you go like this. Oh shit, no, wait, sorry. Like this, look, when you hold it like this, you, go, you, you switch it, look. And it gives it the slingshot look. So I hope this video was helpful. If you need any more information, definitely contact me. And thanks again for purchasing the How to Make a Slingshot video.